Hello everyone, this is Lais from Be Happy Now and I'm here to talk to you about the energy of expansion and retraction on a soul level and how it feels you know, in our physical bodies, how we feel emotionally when all those things are happening. So first of all, what is this expansion? Right? Expansion happens when we're growing, expansion happens when we take those difficult decisions that we hate taking and we keep postponing. But once we do, because we feel the fear and we do it anyway, expansion is going to happen. And it's going to happen first on the soul level, because before we came here, we all decided on the difficult lessons we wanted to learn. And so, for example, my current theme in this life was how to deal with rejection. Now, it has been happening since ever I was a little child and I had an emotionally unavailable father. And that theme just kept, you know, showing up again and again and again in my life until I just learned how to gracefully, you know, peacefully, not always peacefully, but just accept rejection and not totally freak out about it, right? Fall into depression or just get into a really negative state of mind because rejection has nothing to do with ourselves, right? It has always to do with the other people and where they are at in their life and how much they are able to give you or not give you. So, that was my lesson for other people it might be completely different lessons it might be lessons of stop to be a doormat stop saying yes to everything and everyone you know set stronger boundaries that could be one of the lessons or other people might have to deal with tragic death in their families and um, illnesses that's also a very important lesson to learn how to cope with all of this right um so everyone on a soul level decided the lessons they would learn in this lifetime. And so we come down here to experience. And even though it's so hard, I mean, you know, who loves to face rejection or, you know, to, to face sudden death in their families. So it is hard and it's up to us how we choose to feel about certain situations and how, how we respond to situations and people and how we, we cope with every situation in our life, right? So once you um, took difficult decisions or once you understood the lessons in your life and there's always a pattern, so look for the patterns in your life. If they keep recurring, if you have like recurring difficult situations in your life, that might be the, the difficult hurdle or the difficult decision you need to take, the lesson you need to learn behind it. So once we take those decisions, what happens? Um, your soul is going to expand there's going to be this energy of expansion and what happens is that we feel very high suddenly we feel very elated and uh, we feel happy we feel like you know we want to talk to everyone we're on top of the world you know we think like we can make everything happen now we feel really strong happy um yeah it's a beautiful energy to be in this expansion period um so what is not so easy then after that is the retraction period which will inevitably occur for everyone that went through the expansion period and it's so necessary that it happens because our body needs to catch up with what our soul has been up to right our soul has been working hard the energy of expansion has been working hard on our minds our hearts and so this this energy the body needs to follow up with it your physical vessel needs to follow up because it vibrates at a much slower level than your soul. So it will feel like a detox period because your body is going through a detox. It literally is. This retraction is nothing else than a big detox. And many of us feel it so strongly. It can come um, via different symptoms. Some of you might feel really depressed suddenly and you might go from feeling high and elated and excited to feeling really depressed, right? It might feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel anymore. You're so confused because everything was going great. And then suddenly you have this massive, you know, backward step. And it's like dancing mango, mango like going one step forward and a few steps backwards. And you just don't understand anymore what's going on. So retraction, it's all about, you know, confusion. It's about detox. It's about um, feeling tired your body needs to rest so allow your body to rest in retraction periods because it, it really is detoxing on a deep level on a cell level it is you know releasing all the junk and the negative energy that you had inside of you and so that will take a lot of time sometimes it's days sometimes it's weeks and for some of us it's even months 
these retraction periods. So just allow yourself to, to rest a lot. You will feel more introverted. You will feel like you need to sit with your own energy much more than before. So just uh, trust your feelings and you know what your body needs. And I think the important bit in a retraction period is to understand that it is necessary and that it's actually a good thing because once you run through it and the light comes back at the end of the tunnel, you're gonna just jump far ahead again and, and you're gonna be in, in a much better position again on the soul level, you're gonna feel much better again and you will continue to grow once you follow through with that decision, right? So, and it's always this dance, right? Between expansion, retraction, expansion, retraction, it all comes in cycles. So you will never have a period where you are just on an expansion um, energy level or you're just expanding and you're always feeling high and happy and everything is great because what happens afterwards of course is the retraction period sets in and that's the same for all of us every time we grow it will be a cycle right you won't always you know feel happy about your decisions you took you might question everything and, and I just recently went through the same thing right I had decided to move away from Switzerland because I had found love in Germany I was like I want to move to Germany and it felt great I felt like I'm expanding and it's you know all meant to be and then suddenly all those what ifs pop into your head and it's like oh no <laughs> and I got scared so and then you know you just feel like you're moving backwards again and you question yourself you question your decisions and again that's all part of the retraction period and that's how our brains are functioning if that's how our brain is you know meant to work because our brain naturally is there to to show us everything that could go wrong because it's there to protect us from from danger right um, so the important bit here is always to outsmart your brain and to come back to your heart space to your heart and to listen to to your heart what your heart really desires and your gut feelings your intuition right and um, yeah, I think it's so important um, this month and, and every time you feel this, especially that you come back to your heart space and you don't get too much into all the what ifs and, and the fear scenarios in your head because that's just going to prolong this, uh, this contraction period for you because, you know, you will just buy into that fear and then you will get into a much more negative cycle and it's so much harder to come out of it again. So for me, it really helps to sit in my own energy, to meditate a little bit or to, you know, journal. I journal a lot in these periods. And um, yeah, I think for you, it would be the same. So just take your own time and don't freak out because it's very normal to be in this period. And I know so many people question themselves when they have these mood swings and it's just normal though. It's, it's a cycle. And also what I wanted to tell you is don't compare yourself to other people who might be in their expansion period right now. Everything is just flowing, you know, they feel like they're in a flow, everything is happening for them and you and your little retraction period in a cocoon, like not seeing the lights outside of your cocoon and just thinking what the fuck is going on. So I know it's always um, hard, you know, when you're the only one in your little cocoon, everybody else is in their massive, you know, growth period and expansion period, enjoying their lives and you're just confused. <laughs> So just know that um, it's very normal. We just have to stop to compare ourselves to people in a different cycle of their life right now. Okay. Um, and one other thing I wanted to talk about is how to actually talk to your soul, right? Because our soul is always there guiding us. It's talking to us. And um, so how do we listen to that guidance, right? First of all, we have too much monkey mind going on all the time. So we need to learn how to quieten the mind. And that's when we can tune in to our own energy, how we can tune into you know, our internal feelings, how's our body feeling, how's your heart feeling. And um, that's when you start you know, getting more, more intuitive information when you quieten your mind. Uh, another thing is curiosity. Now, I'm so curious. I'm a very curious person and my curiosity has always led me to amazing, you know, things that started happening in my life. Um, even when I was like, when I had a breakdown in 2011 or end of 2010, I was so stuck. I was lost. Nothing was working. I hated my corporate job and my corporate career. I was questioning everything. At the same time, I didn't know what my life purpose was. I didn't know anything. And, um, 
And so I just thought, you know, I'm an ugly worm without a life purpose, basically. I was really depressed about it. And so I was feeling curious, suddenly, what would happen if I started investing time and money into my well-being? And what would happen if I actually moved to Thailand and, you know, stayed there for a couple of weeks? What would happen? And I just followed that curiosity of, you know, um, learning how to do Reiki, learning how to do meditation and uh, how it would be to live in Thailand. So I just followed that impulse, followed that curiosity. And what happened was that I stayed there for a year in the end. And I discovered that I actually enjoy working with people and that my previous career being in the corporate world and business and marketing was not at all what my soul was you know, wanting me to do. My soul was unhappy. So I took that massive decision came back to Europe and uh, that's what I'm doing now. That's why you see my videos, right? It, it came because I was curious. I really wanted to see what happens, you know, once I stop blaming everyone around me for how I'm feeling and, you know, blaming my bosses and my colleagues and the corporate world and my family and all the stupid guys I've been dating. <laughs> so once I stopped blaming all my environment and I, I followed that curiosity to find out more about my soul and myself, you know, magic happened and I want magic to happen for you too. So you really, I hope you really need to learn how to, to listen to this curiosity in your life, to the impulses you have, um, and also in your dreams. Our soul communicates in dreams. So the best thing to do is when you dream and you remember it, write it down right away when you wake up, otherwise it's gone. And there's so much symbology and, you know, imagery that you get in your dreams. And it's really amazing to write it down. Um, right, I think, yeah, that's really it, how I feel my soul communicates uh, with me. So through curiosity and the strong impulses, my intuition, the gut feelings I have, and through dreams. Um, right, I think that's it, what I wanted to share with you. So I love to hear from you. As you know, you can maybe comment below or send me an email, tell me in what kind of period you are now, if you're feeling stuck or if you're in an expansive period or if you feel like you know there's a retraction period and you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel just send me an email okay lots of love bye bye